Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So today we will be talking about Red Hat Certified System Administrator RHCSA from Red Hat. So in this video we will be talking about exam environment, passing criteria, passing a strategy, certification value, fees and questions. So let's get started. So before starting, we should know who is a Linux Administrator. So a Linux Administrator is a backend IT specialist who installs, configures and maintains Linux operating systems in the following ways. Installs and configure Linux system including backend databases and scripts. Performs system maintenance by reviewing error logs. Creates system backups. So these are some skills that are required to become a Linux administrator. Starting from Red Hat Linux RHEL. Then security skills, then monitoring skills, analytical skills, database management and some networking concepts also. Then the background required for Linux administrator. A bachelor's degree in the field of computer science or information technology is recommended widely. So now talking about the salary from freshers to average and to experience. So these are the some values. So you can get idea from the given values. Now talking about the roles of a Linux administrator that he or she performs during his or her job roles. The starting from identification and configuration of Linux file, then monitoring system performance, performing backups and restoring operations, then managing user accounts, then providing security policies for user systems and networks, then managing software and application programs, and changing file system and ownership. So these are some roles that a Linux administrator performs during his or her job roles. Now, talking about the certifications that are recommended widely for a Linux administrator are the Red Hat Certified System Administrator RHCSA from Red Hat, then Red Hat Certified Engineer RHCE from Red Hat again, then the CompTIA Server Plus, CompTIA Security Plus and the others are also widely recommended certification in the field of Linux administrator or Network Engineer also. Now talking about the RHCSA exam EX200, so RHCSA is an entry level certification that focuses on competencies at system administrator including installation and configuration of a Red Hat Enterprise Linux system and attach it to a live network running network services. So talking about the time duration of the exam is 3 hours and maximum marks are 300. So passing marks are 70% out of 300. You need to attain at least 210 marks to pass the exam. Not talking about the mode of the exam will be offline and online both. You can give in offline or in online which one you prefer to. But I suggest you to give the exam in offline mode only. Now talking about the fees so it's starting from $400. So it depends upon your reason. It may vary. Now talking about the attempts that are given. So totally you will get two attempts. So if you fail in the first one then you have the second attempt to again give the exam. So again RHCSA is a proctored exam. So you can't open the internet or use any notes in between the exam because it is a proper proctored exam. So you need to give the exam on your own and the preparation you have made for it. Now talking about the exam syllabus starting from manage basic networking, IP address, gateway and others. Understand and use essential tools like grab. SSH, TAR, MKDIR, CP, these are some commands used in Linux. Then operating running systems, then configuring local storage, then creating and configuring file system again, deploying, configuring and maintaining systems, managing users and groups, managing security, SE Linux, SE Manage, etc. And then at last managing containers like Podman. From this you can get an idea of the syllabus. Now talking about some sample X questions. So you can get ideas from the given question or how the types of questions are asked in the exam. Now talking about this certification value. So uh, Red Hat is a widely known organization in the field of Linux or network engineers. So I definitely suggest you to pursue this exam if you are starting your career in the field of system administrator or network engineer so this is a very easy and good exam to start from so thank you guys for watching hope you guys like the video so if you have any issue or any question about the exam so you can ask me in the comment section thank you guys